Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros, and today we're going to be doing a $600 streaming and gaming PC. The prices are a little bit crazier on this build, I will be totally upfront with that, but at the time of playing this video, we were actually able to part all this together for about $600 and six cents, something like that. It was close to that price. But before we talk in more detail about this PC build, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, the online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. All you have to do is use the link in the description down below, go to GVG Mall's website, use code TV20 to get 20% off of your purchase. Really easy to activate your Windows install, buy the key, you get the key, and then you can just throw it into your Windows install of choice, and boom, there you go. You have activated Windows 10 ready to go. So thanks again to GVG Mall for sponsoring today's video. So as we said at the time of making this video, planning it out, this was about $600. Now you can get everything in this build. The main issue is this guy right here. We bought that used. And the problem is you're gonna have to go into eBay and get it and scalpers, you're just getting worse and worse. So you might end up spending over $200 on an RX 580 or something similar to that. So just keep that in mind and uh, do some deal hunting. And of course, this CPU, the 1600AF, came in stock for a little bit at under $100, which is really awesome. And at the time of recording this video, it's a little bit above $100 now, so you're probably gonna be paying a premium on that, but it just goes to show you that you can get these at really good prices if you are patient enough. So please, links in the description down below, there are affiliate links to help us out. Use those links, we'll try to keep them updated the best we can. Um, but yeah, let's talk more about this build and how we made it so awesome. It's gonna be great. So what we have here, guys, is the Ryzen 5 1600, and look at the serial number, AF Box. So this is the 1600 AF, which is basically a Ryzen 5 2600. It performs like the exact same. It's just still labeled as a 1600 AF because it was AMD's kind of experimental time going down on a smaller nanometer. But six core, 12 thread, comes with a great Cooler Master stock cooler, more than enough for this build. We got a pretty good deal on this Gigabyte Aurora SB450M motherboard. So this was, $80 at the time of buying it. You can see uh, really good deals on B450s. So the main reason why these are a little bit cheaper is because the B550s only support third gen on up, while these still support first, second, third, and you know fourth. So these are pretty cool. They're a really good deal right now. So we highly recommend trying to find a B450 at a good price. You can even find full size ones right now for under $100, which a while back was actually kind of hard to do. Now, another thing that's been really hard to find with everything going on is RAM. So this is only 16 gig, 3200 megahertz. It's two eight gig sticks, it's black, it's pretty simple. The main issue is if you want RGB and if you want like Crucial or Corsair or any of the name brands G-Skill, um, you're gonna be paying a pretty big premium right now. So Oli, uh, PNY, some of the other kind of, it's a little bit smaller companies in the RAM department are a lot cheaper right now. So Oli for the win. Now for storage, you guys know we love going cableless. This is a, the Western Digital WD Blue SN550. So it's a 500 gig NVMe M.2 SSD. Literally just plug it straight into the motherboard and that's it. Very simple. Now for the graphics card, we have an eBay special. This is the Nitro from Sapphire RX 580 4 gig. Now, this is one of the nicer like RX 580s that you can pick up. We did pay around $150 for it though, which is pretty good giving everything going on in the world right now, but the dues tend to go upwards of $200 right now. So RX 580s, they're really hard to find. Pretty much any graphics card is really hard to find, but the RX 580 is still an awesome card for the money if you can actually get it under $200. And uh, yeah, will work great for this PC build. And last, but certainly not least, we're going back to our old friends at Moose Tex with their 903 case. Now they have a lot of the same case, but with just slightly different variations here. This one being the 903, it does come with the four RGB fans installed. I'll try my best to leave a link in the description down below to this exact one, but they have like a ton of the exact same models that really don't have much of a difference to them and they're like a wide range of prices. But this case normally comes in around $80 and with all those RGB fans and the fact that it's full size, which with a micro tx board isn't ideal, but with a nice board like this, it was definitely not worth passing up. Uh, it's still gonna look really nice in this build and normally Mustang has some pretty good build quality for the money and available on Amazon with Prime shipping. So how about not waste any more time and put this thing together?
All right guys, so we have this PC built, but we did realize one thing, which I honestly don't know how we didn't realize that you're probably looking at when we're showcasing this graphics card, like why why can why did you guys see that? But anyways, what we have right here is a missing IO bracket on this graphics card. So uh, yeah, it makes it really difficult to install this. And that's probably why we actually got it so cheap. Uh, the seller didn't have that mentioned anywhere on his eBay listing. So I contacted him to try to get some money back. So we'll see what goes uh, with that. But um, yeah, the card should work still in this condition, but um, um, yeah, uh, beware when you're buying used graphics cards. There's so many weird things that people try to do to skimp and try to get the most money they can from you. And uh, this is another example of that. So uh, yeah, let's, let's just go ahead and get into some uh, benchmarks, shall we? All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have this $600 gaming PC all put together, let's talk about a couple benchmarks real quick. Now, we decided to test this PC in a couple of titles, those being Call of Duty Cold War, Fortnite, Doom Eternal, Rust, and Rainbow Six Siege. First up with Call of Duty Cold War on 1080p on the Nuketown map, we got an average of around 60 FPS on medium low settings. There were some dips down into the 50s when there were some explosions going on, which is not a great experience, so we decided to lower it pretty much to all low settings, and with that in mind, we did get an average of over 80 FPS most of the time. So all those settings does seem to be the best way to go here for a very smooth gaming experience. But even on the Nuketown map, which is probably one of the more demanding maps in Call of Duty Cold War, getting over 80 FPS on this budget PC is definitely an impressive feat. The RX 580 is definitely the bottleneck in this situation. Going for an 8 gig model might actually net you a few more frames because a game like Call of Duty does use a lot of VRAM. So if you're able to find an 8 gig model for not much more, you could see probably 5 to 10 more FPS uh, in a game like Call of Duty Cold War using an RX 580. So do keep that in mind. Next up, in Fortnite on Pro settings, we start to see the 1600 AF stretch its legs and get an average of over 100 plus FPS. This is easily a 144Hz gaming PC in Fortnite on Pro settings. I did not use the performance mode because I have noticed on higher end PCs, performance mode is glitchy and you get a lot of stutters. It's better suit for really low end computers that we test here on the channel like $100 Optiflexes and things like that. But for actual high end PCs, the Pro setting method of Epic View Distance Everything Else on Low still seems to be the most solid and at 100 plus FPS, I mean, you really cannot complain playing Fortnite. Next up is Doom Eternal, and on high settings, we got well over 60 FPS, sometimes into the 100s. Doom Eternal with its Vulcan API just makes all budget hardware look absolutely amazing, and the RX 580 is no exception. Running around a game that looks absolutely awesome is really cool to see, and pretty much any game that runs on Vulcan will give you a plus 60 FPS experience with the RX 580. So if you're definitely looking to play games like that, like Doom Eternal, uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood's another example example of that, you can get some really awesome numbers in AAA titles. The next game is a new one, Rust, because that game has become really popular and people in the comment section are asking for it. I decided to test Rust. I just loaded into a public lobby and on high settings, which is kind of weird because the settings menu in Rust is kind of different. It's like number increments. So I think I was on like four or five or something like that. But nevertheless, not on total max settings, but on medium high, we got over 60 FPS running around in Rust. Um, I don't know if this is the proper way to benchmark this game. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. But try and implement more games that you all are actually playing and Rust is one of them that you can actually play on this PC and get a really good gaming experience. Last but certainly not least, Rainbow Six Siege. With the built-in benchmark tool, we average 205 FPS. That is really good. Well over 144 FPS for a high refresh rate 1080p monitor, so definitely consider picking one of those up with this PC would be a good idea. And what is even a better idea is actually doing some light live streaming on this PC. It is definitely capable of doing that, and we're going to be testing that more extensively in a full streaming setup coming to the channel with this PC and some awesome stuff from Elgato. So if you guys are interested in that, please drop a like down below and subscribe and turn on that bell so you do not miss that video. It'll be coming very soon. So overall, this PC was pretty awesome for the money. I really cannot complain. Yes, it's kind of hard for you to get your hands on all these parts at exactly $600, but anywhere between like six and $700 is reasonable for this PC build. And maybe you'll be more lucky than we were uh, with the graphics card selection and not the deal with getting a new IO bracket sent to you for a graphics card that should have had one in the first place. You know, that's not that fun. So now that we finished the benchmarking section of today's video, how about gonna bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, so as you can tell, this PC, well, it games, and it games actually pretty well for the price right now because things are crazy. So, you know, look for this stuff and try to get it at a good price while you can. We did mention after all the stuff at the beginning of the video that we realized our graphics card did not have a bracket on the back of it, an IO bracket, which is kind of annoying, but we actually reached out to the seller and they're gonna be sending us an actual replacement bracket to fix it. So just be very careful when buying any used graphics card, let alone these RX 580s, which have been known to be used for mining cards. They might have 
have a mining BIOS. They might have stuff like a missing bracket for whatever reason, just from wear. So do keep that in mind. But overall, given everything going on, getting this PC for around six, maybe $700 in your use case if you're buying this today, you're actually getting a lot of value here. And also we really like this Mustex case because it comes with six RGB fans, tempered side glass, a full power supply basement. It does come with a pretty good airflow in the front. You have a filter on the top. And then, of course, you have you know some filters in the bottom as well. So it's a pretty good airflow case, and for around eighty dollars, uh, which is about what all the Mustex cases cost, you know you can go find one on Amazon, or maybe two or three or four. So if you want this specific case, or any of the parts in this build, or you just want to build this build in general, links in the description down below. There are affiliate links, and they do help us out. Very happy that we're able to build a somewhat budget PC right now. That's kind of rare, uh, but yeah, very happy with this build overall. So if you guys haven't already, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels, and also our twitchtv bros and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So in case you guys didn't know, we are over on Floatplane making some exclusive behind the scenes and also pre-editor cut content. So if you want to see Toast Bros videos early and some also behind the scenes coverage that will never show up on YouTube, sometimes we don't really want it to be on YouTube, link in the description down below. Check out Floatplane, subscribe. It does help us out. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.